Good morning, dear hearts. We're on lesson 65. Please subscribe. Uh, today's lesson is my only function is the one God gave me. Obviously, we are continuing our idea of having a function, and the function that we have was assigned to us, and it's a holy function. It's a whole function. It's a happy function. Um, today's uh, lesson, we will bring in little bits and pieces, and sometimes really little bits and pieces from several different lessons. One of them is going to be lesson 20. The first paragraph of Lesson 65 says, the idea for today reaffirms your commitment to salvation, which was mentioned in Lesson 20. It also reminds you that you have no function other than that. Both these thoughts are obviously necessary for a total commitment. Um, salvation cannot be the only purpose you hold while you still cherish others. We have to be singular in our commitment, and our commitment needs to be that of salvation. So now, just for the moment, let's go back to Lesson 20. And in Lesson 20, which was, I am determined to see. And that lesson was telling us that this is our first attempt to introduce structure. Don't misconstrue it for force or coercion, because then we will back off from it. And it says, you want salvation, you want to be happy, both ideas that we have had recently, and you want peace. I'm determined to see. This idea was introducing the structure and the commitment of what it is we really want to do. Again, it's just so much of the course, it's just, it's brought in, it's subtle, but eventually, because we're weaving this beautiful tapestry, we will bring all of these ideas together. And structure and commitment are two of the things that we really need to bring together for our success. But it's not just our success, it, was the, it is the success for everyone. Um, and that was Buster, if you were looking for him. Um, and then in lesson 20 says you do not have them now we don't have happiness peace structure salvation now because our mind is totally undisciplined again yesterday we were reminded that uh, our mind still is not quite there that we didn't have the capability as it said we were not yet proficient in being able to keep our mind trained so we want to do that we need we know now I only have one function, but in order for me to have that function, commit to that function, I need to release all of the other trivial goals that I have placed or I've allowed the ego to place within my mind. Uh, going back to 65, it says the full acceptance of salvation as your only function necessarily entails two phases. The recognition of salvation as your function, again, that was brought in with Lesson 20, and the relinquishment of all the other goals that you have invented for yourself. It says, it is the only way you can take your rightful place among the saviors of the world. Now, that's a big idea, but it's one that will be brought back to us, of being among the ministers and the messengers, the teachers. We are here to save the world. We are here for the salvation, the freedom, the release of this world, the release of our minds from the ego point of view, the ego's prison that we again have placed ourselves in. Um, and it says, this is the only way in which you can say and mean my only function is the one God gave me. It's the only way in which you can find peace of mind. I want to have peace of mind. We know we know this, you know, above all else, I want to see. Well, what do I want when I see? I see peacefully and I have peace. All of these things totally and completely link together. Now, in paragraph three, it says, today's idea offers you escape from all your perceived difficulties. It places the key to the door of peace, which you have closed upon yourself in your own hands. Now that idea, that metaphor of the door, again, brought in to us very, very subtly in lesson one and lesson nine, and then lesson 29. And lesson 
29 is God is in everything I see. And just in, in that lesson, with the, the practicing, it said, you know, God is in that door. God is in that body. God is in that door. That door, that this metaphor of the door, again, very subtle, brought back to us. But now I have the key. I have the key for that door. God has given me the key for the door that he is in, that he is waiting for us to walk through. And he is there to, to welcome us, to be with us, to, um, to be jubilant with us, that we have finally found that key. It's, it's not a physical key, okay? It's the key within my mind that my mind is ready. Uh, again, lesson 65, that this, this whole idea, the, the practicing extended uh, practice periods now at least once a day, 10 to 15 minutes, the purpose is to arrange your day so that you have set apart time for God as well as time for your trivial purposes, those little goals that I'm not ready to relinquish yet. And says this is part of the long-range disciplinary training your mind needs, again, talking about structure back in lesson 20, trying to induce and introduce structure for us because we need to be able to make this commitment to this goal and let the other trivial goals we, uh, go. Let Just let them go. Again, <laughs> the philosophy of Frozen. Um, and then in, in the practice periods, when we, uh, it's asking us this time, not to necessarily be looking for the thoughts that are in alignment with today's idea, but the ones that are not, the ones that interfere. And note that each one, as it comes to you with a little involvement, sort of notice it, you know, that elephant in the room, hmm, there it is, and let it go uh, without any concern, dismissing each one as you tell yourself this thought, this thought, this interfering thought, reflects a goal that is preventing me from accepting my only function, my only function. My function is forgiveness. I am here for the salvation of the world. God has assigned me a function. <sighs> Springtime. Um, <laughs> and then it says to catch a few of the idle thoughts. And that's interesting because we already have been told there's no such thing as an idle thought. Every thought that we have makes or creates on some level. So when I have these interfering thoughts, they're not really idle. They could prevent me from achieving my goal, to committing to my goal. And it, but then it says, you know, to let it go, just let them go, and then instead say, on this clean slate. And I said, on this clean mind, okay, let me let my true function be written there for me. So. Um, Practicing hourly also, you know, just very quickly. The, my only function is the one God gave me. I want no other, and I have no other. I only have room for one real function, and the function is salvation, but it's, my function is not just for me. It is for everyone. It is for everyone. When I accept my function of salvation, of freedom, of happiness, of peace, for me, it's not just for me. I get to share that with you everyone and it is a glorious function for us to take up and to embrace so we want peace of mind the key is opening up that door and we will be welcomed into it so please like please share please subscribe please comment um, please pray for this peace again peace for everyone in every mind it would be it will be an, an amazing and a most amazing revelation. Namaste.